In front of me, I have picked out a list of villains and heroes that I think are most likely to come to My Hero Ultra Rumble. And then below that, I have a ton of other potential characters for My Hero that could eventually make it into the game. I doubt every single one makes it into the game though, because there are definitely some minor characters there, but it's actually just crazy how big the cast of My Hero is when you stop to look at it. But besides that, we are just gonna be placing these characters into this tier list here. And this tier list is different than normal. It's not gonna be like a top ranking bottom rank middle rank we are going to be placing them into the typings that i think these characters are going to be so whether i think they're going to be a strike character an assault character a speed character a technical character or a support character now this video idea was given to me by somebody in my discord so if you would like to give me video ideas for my hero ultra rumble or any other games i play here on the channel join the discord in the description below and you guys can give me some video ideas as well as talk to other people who play these same games and maybe set up some play sessions and things like that so with that said all for one is going to be the first character we're going to be placing now when it comes to these categories i would say all for one is almost definitely going to be a strike character my reason the name for putting all for one as a strike character is like endeavor just came out right endeavor has a lot of long ranged attacks endeavor also has an aoe prominence burn i feel like all for one is going to be very similar to endeavor and that he is going to have long range attacks and he is going to also have his aoe with his compressed air right it's hard to say exactly if they're going to put him in strike or technical though because all for one is supposedly going to be able to uh, steal other people's quirks so we'll have to see how that ends up working out in game he could be technical or strike it's hard it's really hard for me to say actually i'm going to put him in technical i think because of the fact that he's going to be able to steal quirks i'm going to put him in technical and I, he's going to be able to rotate through quirks from my understanding i think he is i i don't know if that's already confirmed or not i can't remember i you know what but we're, we're putting all for one in technical i think that is probably what he'll end up being in game then we have twice twice i would say is probably going to be either technical or assault i'm going to go with assault because he is going to be able to duplicate himself and do damage assault characters are typically brawler characters or tankier characters like all might or deku and so i feel like twice is going to fit into that category he doesn't really fit into strike because he doesn't have range he doesn't really fit into speed because he's not that fast and i mean he could maybe be a support but there's better characters for support than twice but I mean, Cementos is a support, so I mean, anyone could literally be a support at this point. It's hard to say. And then for uh, Redestro, Redestro is a tricky one. I feel like Redestro is probably going to be like a support tank character. I would actually put him in the support tank because he's going to be able to like pick up Conrad's. He's so big, right? He's going to be able to protect them by taking damage and becoming stressed out, maybe potentially and stuff like that. Gaining uh, stress as he gets hit more getting bigger, maybe shielding allies. I don't know what they would do with Redestro, but I feel like out of all these categories, he would probably be a support character. Maybe an assault character. He could be a brawler because he, you know, he fights. I, it's either assault or support, but in this case, I want to go with support. And then we have Stain. I know I am looking so forward to Stain. I want Stain to come to not only My Hero Ultra Rumble, but also Ultra Impact. I've been waiting for a UR Stain for forever but uh in ultra rumble if stain were to come to the game i would almost bet that he's going to be technical because if aizawa is technical with turning off quirks i feel like stain will probably be technical with uh you know immobilizing people basically i doubt he's going to be speed i doubt he's going to be strike there he might be assault because he gets close range but realistically i feel like stain is a technical character more than anything and i feel like that's how he would play more like an assassin where you have to like plan out your moves and stuff like that i feel like that's how he would be played hard to say though until he comes to the game overhaul is definitely a character that will probably make an appearance within i don't know the first let's say 10 seasons assuming the game lasts 10 seasons within 10 seasons i bet you we get overhaul because overhaul is a very prominent villain in the series he's not really part of the league of villains he's something different and he also has a really easily designed kit for my hero ultra rumble there's a lot you can do with him and i feel like he is a character that is probably going to be strike so we're going to go with strike for overhaul because he does keep his range for the most part i don't know how if they would incorporate like his giant form at the end when he fights deku in the anime i don't know if they would do that they might they might not but i can you are they going to make it so you can infuse enemies into yourself or allies who die into yourself and make him even bigger i don't know that'd be crazy imagine if that was the case they could make him technical 
but I feel like he's going to be a strike. He's going to be a ranged character who's able to basically be like Shigaraki and reform the ground and stuff like that. Potentially. I feel like that's what will happen. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree down in the comments for any of these, of course. And then for Gentle Criminal, Gentle Criminal is almost definitely going to be a speed character. I would go speed. I almost had a soul. Uh, he, he could be a speed or a soul, but more than likely he's going to be speed because he is literally one of the fastest villains we've seen in the series when it comes to, to uh, bouncing around his elasticity and all that stuff that goes on with uh, Gentle Criminal. Gentle Criminal is one that I feel like could be a lot of fun to play in the game because imagine you can bounce off like air trampolines and stuff like that around the map. It could be really, really cool. So I feel like almost guaranteed he will be a speed character. And now we get into the pro heroes. So Hawks, like that's not even a question. Speed, right? He is the man known for being too fast. It'd be really interesting to see how they incorporate uh, speed into his kit. Are they actually going to, how are you going to control the feathers is the thing I'm most interested in. Are they just going to be like a short range feather thing or is it going to be long range? Can you pick people up and drop them to their deaths? Like I know there's no fall damage, but imagine just picking somebody up and kind of holding them in the air for a second, kind of like I saw binding cloth and other, your allies can attack and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool for Hawks. I don't know what they'll do with him, but there's definitely a lot of cool things they could do with Hawks. Hawks is so versatile, right? And then Mirko, Mirko, I would almost bet uh, is either going to be speed or assault. In this case, oh man, I'm tempted. I'm tempted because she's like Froppy. I'm gonna go speed. She's sort of like Froppy with her ability to jump around, right? Although she does like go crazy with her kick. She could definitely be assault too. And maybe to balance it out, maybe they want to put her into assault. So she could be speed or assault. In this case, I'm gonna put her in speed because I feel like she'd be really cool uh, to play at, you know, hopping around from building to building and stuff like that. I feel like she would fit well into the speed category as a character in My Hero Ultra Rumble. Next, we have Night Eye. Night Eye is one of those characters who like, how do you make this character cool? Uh, moveset wise, you know, because he predicts the future. How are you going to predict the future in a game like this? This is a character actually more than any. I like, I don't know how they would put him in the game. I'd like to see him come to the game, but out of all these characters, he's probably the least likely to come to the game because how do you make his quirk useful? I mean, sure, you can make the seals like that you throw and stuff like that. He could be a, an assault character who gets into the fights, but really, we haven't seen Night Eye do a whole lot before his death, unfortunately, uh, besides see the future and throw some seals. So, I mean, I would go with assault just based on the fact that he is kind of a close range character. Other than that, yeah, I don't really know what to say about Night Eye. Let me know if you guys have better reasoning for Night Eye for where you think he should be. But I feel like Assault is a fair place. It could also be support. He could be support. I would give him support too, maybe with his ability to see the future. If they can somehow get that ability. You know what? Let's go support. If they can get that ability to see the future, like maybe he can predict where enemies are on the map or tell you that enemies are so far ahead on the map. Like it gives you uh, like a radar or something. That's what Night Eye does. That'd be kind of cool. But then again, would that make sense in terms of his quirk? Eh, not really, because you have to touch the enemy to be able to see what's going to happen in the future. Or maybe you fight a team, and if you fought that team and actually touched somebody as Night Eye, and they get out of the fight and try to run away to heal, it tells you where they are. Maybe that could work as Night Eye? I don't know. I don't know. There's some things they could do. So I would go with support on that. He's probably going to be supporting the team, either support or soul. It's one of the two, right? And then we have Best Genus. Best Genus is a really cool character, I think, to see the binds and stuff like that come to the game. I think with the binds being similar to Aizawa, he would almost definitely be a technical character, binding people up, letting your team take full advantage of that. Now, do we want another bind character in the game besides Aizawa? I don't know. I feel like they might have to set a limit on which characters can be picked at a time once we get more characters in the game. Kind of like overwatch did i don't like comparing things to overwatch because overwatch went downhill very quickly but you know you might have to end up doing like a roll queue or something like that at some point in the future we'll see where the game goes right now it's okay where it's at but imagine just being bound by like best genus then you get chained into aizawa then you get chained into vine which would be ridiculous right you would just never get a chance to do anything so yeah, that'd be interesting to see. <laughs> then we have Edshot. Edshot, we haven't seen a whole lot of him, but what we have seen of him is this uh, thousand sheep pierce. He turns himself into like a little uh, needle ninja tool, whatever you want to call it. And he can go through people's bodies and small crevices and stuff like that. It'd be really cool to see 
uh, edge shot, find some uses in the game. He, how he traverses the terrain. Maybe he can go through multiple enemies at once with his piercing shot. It's really hard to say, but I feel like out of everyone, uh, out of every category, edge shot is probably an assault character. He's going to be up close and personal. He's going to be fighting. Then we have Kamui Woods, very similar to best genus. I would put him into technical because of his lacquer chain prism where he's going to be binding a bunch of enemies. Imagine now we have a uh, best genus. We have Aizawa. We have Kamui Woods. We have Vine. All those people are binding. That would be crazy annoying, right? So hopefully, uh, <laughs> however, if they do get to these characters, however they decide to release them, they kind of think about it a little bit because it could get very annoying in the game very quickly if we have too many buying characters so we need to be careful about that present mike has been rumored to be coming to the game he is the announcer in the game already personally i don't really want him to come to the game like in a way because i like having him as the announcer it feels good having him as the announcer it's just going to be weird having him as the announcer and then having like voice lines in front of you of a character in front of you or a character that you're playing it gets confusing at that point right but i also understand the other people's sentiment when they want to play present mike because he would have a pretty cool set right a pretty cool moveset and for that reason i would probably put him into strike because of his sound waves he's going to keep his distance he's going to be able to use the sound waves to yell at people uh unless you just uh, talk about like his dj punch when he punches people uh he's punched a few people in the anime but i mean yeah mostly for for his quirk wise we're going to put him into the strike category and then last but not least four characters that i predict to come to my hero ultra rumble in the future i would say lady naga is a mixture of hero and villain she is an anti-hero in a way we are going to be placing lady naga also into the strike category because she is going to be keeping her distance similar to endeavor sniping people like endeavor does with his arrow but hopefully better and more accurately so i feel like it'll be it could be game breaking if naga ever comes to the game she has an air walk which could be insane right could be a very very cool character but those are my predictions for this video if you guys would like to see me do like class 1b predictions uh ua high school in general big three predictions for future typings of characters let me know down in the comments and if you guys enjoyed this video please consider going down there hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching peace Maybe.